Lads, what the hell is this? What the actual hell is this? Dr. J will be a dog. I'm just going to look, show you guys this right here. If we go to this, the very start of December, we're going to go to the um, 8th of December. This set right here is as good as this set. It just is. 4K MT usable. This set here is good. Like Penny, Ron Artest, and David Robinson. Like Ron Artest is not that much worse than Dr. J. Penny, you could argue, is better than his Ar uh, man Thompson. And David Robinson's better than any of the other cards. And they don't cost as much. And this set is definitely... Whatever about this set being maybe better. Um, This set is definitely better. The one... This one here. Tis the season future. Like, how is this set better than a set a month later? And not only that, like, we haven't really had a good set in the last month. Like, we haven't even had a good set in the last month. Like, Evan Mobley is still pretty good. Um, Wembenyama is better than any of the cards today. I don't even like Wembenyama. Kobe also came out on this day. Um, Franz, we got the Franz Wagner, Jalen Suggs duo. We got Brandon Miller for 10k. We got Jeremy Sowen for 4k. We got Dyson Daniels for 2000 MT. He's now 1800. Ja is him though. Like Ja is not as good as, or Ja is, if Ja, Ja is not him. He's a 6-2 point guard. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Like, he's, he's just not. Electric set, like... The power must have went out at 2k if this is the damn electric set. Their power went out. That's all I'm gonna say. If this is the electric set, then the power went out. That might explain the servers going down. Like, that might be more of a reason for it. Maybe the servers just went down. The power was out. But, like... And even Tis the Season Present set. The Tis the Season Present set where we got the four diamonds and the lock-in for Yanis is way better than this. It's cheaper. Some said Jack, Jack can counter magic because magic can't run. Who's using magic? What psychotic person is using Magic Johnson? Like... You legitimately have to be a crazy person or bad at this game to be running with Magic Johnson. You've either got... you Like, if you don't have enough game knowledge to be running Magic Johnson, that's cool. You're probably enjoying this game more than we are. Magic is a trash can. Someone just said Magic is nice. No, he's not. Stop lying to yourself just because you either grind it for him or paid the money. Stop lying to yourself. Man's a trash can. This card is alright, by the way. This card's fine. Amen Thompson is what we're, is like, okay, this card I'm looking at, I'm thinking, okay. KD is just the same as his diamond. Chris Bosch is a little bit better than his diamond. That's all I'm going to say. Curry's better. Amen, no hotspots. I still think he's going to hit. That's the thing is, I still think we're at the hot spots he's going to hit. And he's also a rim runner. What does a man do over Luke or Penny? L cheaper. Simple. He's cheaper. And then Azar might, like, we might get the good, we might get him a good duo, like. And we don't have the duo up yet. But, like, there is potential that the Aman Azar duo is going to be really good. So there's no, like,. There's no guarantee anyway when it comes to um, the Thompson Twins. But like... They're just... It's so... Ex and like Dr. J is really good as well. Like Dr. J is really, really good. Like Dr. J is one of the three, two best players in this position. But like you can even make the argument he's not. And, like, you can legitimately make the argument that there's not one player in this set that's top two at their position. Or top four at their position. Heck, I don't think, like, 
I don't think Kawhi and Ron Artest have any knock jam. I don't think there's that much in it. Like, this set is worse player for player than Inferno. And Inferno was free! Inferno was free with juice pack odds. All the amateurs stink. Like... The only card that's worth it... There's only two cards that are worth it and they're combined 400k. And you can just stall. You can just stall and be grand. Like, just wait it out. There's no, there's no reason to buy any of these cards. And the budget cards even suck. The budget cards suck. How do you get a set so wrong that the budget cards suck? Eddie House is a brand new card in the game. Do you remember the last time you brought in a brand new card? It was Sebastian Telfair. Kyrie dribble style Russ Drogic on quick with Stevie size up. Not the default point guard, Sigs. If you literally make a point guard build, these are the default sigs before you change anything. Default small, default small. These guys literally aren't going to be usable. Amen Thompson, elite. He can be elite. Amen Thompson can be very, very good. And the duo with Amen and Azar Thompson might be the one positive in this set. It might be the one positive. Dr. J, they made sure as hell he can't hold range or anchor. They made sure as hell he couldn't do that because of, I, I don't know, pacing. But you know, Dr. J, they didn't want to make him good. They didn't want to make him better than a card they released a fucking month ago. They didn't want to make him better than cards they released three months ago. Or significantly better cards they released three months ago. Alonzo Mourning, they gassed up his stats. He's got the worst release in the game. He's got the worst release in the game. Chris Webber's pretty good. Chris Webber's pretty good. I'll give you that. Chris Webber is a pretty good card. And Chris Mullen, for 50 wins, we're winning 50 games for a card who cannot hold anchor, has a mid-release mid at best. At best, calling his release mid. At least he's all right. He's got clamps, good defense, decent driving dunk, decent three ball. But it's a mid-release. We're literally getting, um, we are literally getting, what's his name? We're getting Michael Red 2.0. We're getting the same damn card. We're getting another Michael Red. Do I hate Michael Red? I don't know. Someone said, look at Chris Webber's jumper. Did they ruin Chris Webber's jumper? Please tell me it ruined Chris Webber's jumper. Like, oh no, don't get empty. Whatever you do, whatever about buying at VC, I'm not buying empty. But like, there's no way that um, Chris Webber's jumper is that bad. Is it? Is it that bad? Where is it, 2K? I hate the way it freaking loads when you go on the blacktop. Freestyle. Um, Kings. Okay, Chris Webber's at least on this team. I'm playing through OBS, so I'm going to shoot very late anyway. That release is great. That release is legitimately great. So, Chris Webber, nice. Chris Webber, nice. Um, a man Thompson could be pretty good. Dr. J, all right. And like Glenn Robinson the third, they made sure that he couldn't hold clamps. They made sure that he couldn't hold clamps. Like, why is this free card so much worse than the free cards we were getting six weeks ago? Like, we were legitimately getting free cards six weeks ago. Like Tari Eason, Jalen Suggs, um, like even Kelly Oubre is better than this guy. But they've done whatever they can. Like, like I don't understand why 2k are doing everything they can to not give um second get it out of my chat but um either way it's just not 
It's just not good, is it? 